So now Octavio is going to show our male readers how to tighten up their chest, abs, and glutes. Okay, my name is Octavio Pozos, and today I want to show you a workout that you can do in your house. And we have uh, equipment that you can buy anywhere, and it's very simple. You don't have to buy a huge equipment. So first, the, uh, the, the bands, we have two types, the tubes, and then we have the, uh, the, uh, the soft and the TheraVans. So uh, you can also get in uh, the same place that you can buy these, uh, these power bars. And a um, pair of dumbbells, this is a five. And this ball that has uh, some gel, and this is six pounds. So you don't need more than this. Maybe you will need eventually just a little bit of adding, uh, maybe eight pounds or ten for the guys especially. Uh, most than nothing is you can add repetitions and do the exercise correct to really hit the muscles and target uh, the big muscles that you want to work out. Uh, today I'm going to show you a, a workout to focus the abdominals, the upper body, and especially the glutes. Uh, it's very important to tell you too that also is very uh, necessary that you have to uh, warm up a little bit of five or eight minutes. If you don't do that, you have more chance to get injured. Just make sure you have uh, a little bit of, of, of time to warm up always. So your joints and your body temperature gets up and then your joints are lubricated. Let's start a little bit uh, warming up. And so you're ready, so here we go. Inhale, reach up to the sky, up and exhale down, inhale, and exhale up, up, stretch, one more time, inhale and exhale, and up, very nice, let's bring the arm back, and start warming up your upper body, every time you bring your arm down, try to keep your abs engaged, remember that abs are very important to keep your core stabilization, and avoid also any kind of injury in your whole body. Okay, now we're doing both arms. And then you just have all the warm up of the rotator cuff. Let's do 10 forward, 10 back, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Very nice. Keep open and do like a little half a squat. Keep your knees out. Hold it there, and this is going to stretch your adductors and give you a little warm up in your glutes. Hold the stomach all the time, chest out, shoulders back. Very nice. Hold it there. Bring your right heel up 10 times. One, two, three, four. Keep, keep lower your body. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. One, two, three. Keep your body straight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then inhale, reach up and exhale. One more time and exhale, reach up. Hands in prayer position, then lower. And this is gonna give, give you a little bit of more stabilization in your legs. Lower your body and you're gonna feel the stretch in your abductors and glutes. Come up and down. And up and down. Let me do it backwards so you can see what I'm doing. Take it down, squeeze your glutes, keep your back straight, down and up, and then you're working your glutes and stretching your adductors. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it down. Bring your shoulder forward. Push your hand out, and you're gonna feel more stretch and you're growing, very nice. Come up, inhale, reach up, hands against your quads, push your hand and your leg out, shoulder to the front. Very nice. Come up, hold your stomach tight, reach up and turn to the side. Lateral stre stretch of the spine. Keep your legs flexed, don't do this. Don't cheat, here, take it down. Inhale, and exhale, the other side. Very nice, reach, 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 reach. 
Take it down, center, straight the legs now. Very carefully, inhale and exhale. Very slow, bring your body down and keep your back full or straight. This is stretching your hamstrings and your glutes. If you have uh, any discomfort, you can always keep your hands here and reduce you know, the bending forward. Do the same thing, let's just stretch more. The right leg, hold it there. Feel the stretch. Now, if you can go a little more down, please do. If you don't, it's fine to do this. Let's switch the other side. So this is the warm up, guys. But also, your body is already working out some of the muscles. Very nice. If you can go down, go down. Come up. Hand center. Flex your knees. Roll up. Feet together. And let's start doing some squats. So just keep moving your feet and we're going to try to start using uh, the power bar and we're going to try to do the, uh, the squats. So please watch out, keep your knees out, hold the bar and take it down and up and up, let's do eight, four, five, so the bar is going to keep you, your back straight and you have a little bit of support for your knees, keep your knees out. Very nice, hold it, very good, let's move to the side and we're going to add the weight of the bar, so please watch, put the bar on the sides and we're doing the same movement, the same squat, keep your back straight, hold your stomach, take it down and up, inhale and exhale, very important you're breathing, what you're doing the effort is when you exhale, when you're going down is when you inhale. Six, seven, let me do it backwards so you can see what I'm doing. Four, five, six, seven, one more. Eight, hold it, put the bar on the side. And I'm just increasing a little bit the exercise and the intensity of this squat. So watch out. Here we go. Keep the bar, the bar here, and let's do the same squat. It looks deceiving the, the little bar. It's four pounds or five, but believe me, if you do it like this correctly, you don't need too much weight. Keep your knees out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Hold it, keep the bar down, very nice. Come up, feet together, keep your body in a line. Let's work your calves and then let's work your glutes. Go up and use again the bar as a little bit of support. Keep your feet together and squeeze your calves. Ten, keep going. Don't forget to keep your shoulders back. All the time your stomach engage. And there you go. Twenty, let's do thirty. Twenty one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good guys. Now we're gonna use also the back to have a little support and work the legs, the quads, hamstrings and glutes. So stand tall. Open the arm, bring the leg up, there you go. Straight the leg, bring it back, and step back. Make sure the knees align with the ankle. And then, you're gonna feel the stretch in the hip flexor, and then you're gonna the, uh, feel the workout in the glutes. Again, come up, this is squats, hold the stomach, open the arm, extend, squeeze the quads, take it down, and all the way back. Make sure that your heel is up, don't do this, lower your body and lower as much as you can you're using the bar to help you go down 
you may be not that flexible and maybe this is how far you can go but just try your best keep your knee aligned again and then repeat up extend the quads take it down and back so this is the exercise one more time hold it come back glutes with the stretch in the hip flexor keep your knee aligned up extend down back eight and hold it there keep your back straight and step forward switch take a deep breath inhale and exhale very nice let's do the same thing the other leg open the arm stand tall, tall and straight up quads flex all the way back the lunge knee in line keep your body and back straight one more time up quads flex lunge glutes up quads back lunge again if you can go this way because you don't have flexibility it's fine do what you can do but make sure always do a clean technique one more time stand back lunge look at my posture please back straight knee aligned toe up one more time stand up back up quads flex lunge one more time eight and take it down hold it there for a second very nice come up and let's put this away now let's work work with the band okay so again this exercise when I, I i show you you can do uh four sets of 20 in each leg and that's going to be enough to hit and to uh, get your muscle uh, of your abs your butt and your quads really well and really tone so let's go ahead and now do some upper body so please get your band so let's do um, a biceps curl and a, and a lateral shoulder so again okay guys now we're going to start doing your upper body let's do a biceps curl and a lateral shoulder with the tube so here we go step forward step on the band keep a little semi flex your body and keep it straight remember again posture is very important keep your elbows close to your body and the biceps curl is always doing the curl and extend the arms all the way down don't do this this is not good you're not working the whole range of the motion of the contraction and the joint so here we go let's do 20 two three four posture important important abdominals engage and let's add just a little bit of um, open your uh, index finger up at the end of the curl and you're gonna feel more the workout in your forearms 15 16 17 18 19 hold it take a deep breath inhale and exhale let's do lateral shoulders here we go same thing keep your back straight open up inhale hold it please don't do this relax your traps and the arms go outwards like this here we go one two three there you go four and again keep the arms straight don't lock your traps traps relax and it's just the arms out and you're gonna feel the middle shoulder working let's do 10 hold it 10 very nice step forward and switch let's do the same thing the other side so bicep curl again elbow close to your body keep your body straight somebody's pulling you from your head and here we go inhale and exhale let's do 20 Again, guys, please keep all the time when you're doing the contractions, pinky out, hold the stomach, and you're always keeping just a little semi flex for this kind of exercise. 16, 17, 18, 19, hold the 20, 
take it down, inhale, and exhale. Let's do the 10 lateral shoulders again. Arms go outwards, inhale, and exhale. Hold it, make sure you have right the arms and the posture. Here we go, 10, two, three, four. Don't hunch your back, keep your back straight. Shoulders out, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, hold it, hold the stomach, hold the stomach, and take it down, very nice. So let's move on to the next exercise. So we have done uh, lateral shoulder, biceps, let's work the big muscles, your chest and your back. Let's go down to the mat. And first inhale, up, and exhale, one more time, inhale and exhale. This is called child pose, guys. Have a space in your feet to throw your body back and have a space to uh, feed your butt on the back. Feel first the stretch and your lower back, the lats and the shoulders. One more time, we do the same thing. Uh, make sure you throw your arms forward so I have a full stretch, your ears are at the level of your shoulders. Don't do this. Here you're not stretching the lats. So make sure, throw your arms forward, keep, it, keep them there, and go back. Then you feel the stretch in the lats and the shoulders. Very nice. So here we go, guys. Let's start working up our back and our chest and triceps. Here we go. Go all the way down. Keep your hands next to your shoulders, come up and push back. This is a down, a down dog, but we're gonna use it to work with your body weight, your chest. So let's do 10 of these. <sighs> Exhale, keep your heels on the ground, don't do this. Take it down, inhale. <sighs> Four, five, don't flex the elbows, keep it straight. One more time, inhale and exhale. Remember the breathing is very important. Inhale when you go down, exhale when you do the effort. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it there, let's do abs. Open your feet a little wider than the mat. Hold it there. Take your right arm out and you're gonna feel the stabilization of your whole body for your abs, your triceps and the other arm. 10 counts, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, switch. Inhale and exhale, reach. Keep your body, not like this, not like this. Totally straight, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, all the way down. Feet together, all the way down. Slide your feet, this is stretch your abs. Inhale, and exhale, up dog. And again guys, here it all depends your flexibility. Relax your butt, chin up. There you go. Breathe. Let's repeat this one, one more time to get a full workout in your chest, arms, and back. So remember, feet together, inhale, and exhale. All the way down. Three, four, very straight, your abs and your arms. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, hold it, very nice. Right leg goes in the front, the do runner stretch. And the stretch you're growing, very nice. Keep your back straight and your head pointing forward. Open up, reach, feel the stretch of the lower back. Switch. Run or stretch the left leg. So 
So about just pulling you from your head. There you go. Feel the stretch in the growing. And make sure your toe, it's not here. It's always far away. There you go. Feel the stretch in the growing. Keep flexor. Up and up. Breathe. Very nice. Kick it down. Knee on the floor. Both legs back to child pose. Very nice. One more time. Your down dog. And slowly bring your arms close to your legs. You're finding a stretch for the legs. Keep your legs locked. Move to the right. And you're gonna feel the stretch more in the left side of the leg. Stay here, eight counts, five, six, seven, and eight. Inhale, and exhale, switch. Turn to the other side. I'm turning to the left side, and I'm feeling more the stretch in the right leg. Five, six, seven, and eight. Center, flex the knees. Hold your stomach very, very tight. When you bring your body from this position, if you don't hold your abs, you're gonna break your lower back. So squeeze your abs and roll up slow. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. And last one, inhale. And exhale. So this is um, really good workout that you can do in your house with a little bit of equipment. But more than anything, guys, um, along the work that I've been telling you and cueing you about posture, about holding your abs, about always never hunching, keep your body out, chest out, shoulders back, and the breathing. When you do the effort or the exercise is when you exhale. When you prepare, inhale. When you do the exercise, exhale. When you prepare, inhale. So those are the cues that they're gonna make the difference in your workout. It doesn't matter how much what you do. If you don't do this posture and breathing and alignment correct, the workout can be a disaster and you can be injured. So don't do crazy things and remember, always warm up 10 minutes, at least like the way we did, a little bit of a stretching, a little bit of a warming up, the muscles that we wanna work out in the way in the whole routine, and then you're safe and good to go. Hope you enjoy it.